Extroverts command attention in the workplace. Extroverts are great at presenting their ideas and greenlining them into reality. Extroverts draw their strength from public speaking and engaging with others. However, extroverts can be a little tough to work with, especially when you're an introvert. Just like extroverts, introverts bring a ton to the table. Introverts are more likely to put their heads down and get the work done. Instead of socializing or talking about their big idea nonstop, Introverts are usually the ones who will get the work done and implement it. Here are just a few ways to thrive as an introvert at work. Get out of the open office if you can. The modern open office is a common nuisance to introverts. In your modern setup, the open office might include a kitchen, a ping pong table, a couch, and a foosball table. Oh, and then add 20 plus people talking, answering calls, eating lunch, and uh, just existing. It can get loud very quickly. Introverts tend to do their best work in solitude without distractions. To get your best work done, try to find somewhere you can work heads down for a long period of time. Maybe there's an outdoor area where you can work for a part of the day. If you are in a co-working space, there are likely pods where you can escape for an hour or so. If you simply cannot escape the open office, invest in a pair of noise canceling headphones. Headphones can quickly bring you into your own cone of silence so you can get back to work. The best part, you might even get your company to recoup the cost of the headphones for you. Focus on your strengths and your work. As an introvert, you might not be raising your hand at meetings or getting into hot debates with other team members. And contrary to popular belief, introverts thrive in leadership roles just as well as they do in supportive roles. Your strength is in your work, introvert. Since you are unlikely to boast about your work and your work ethic, your achievements will need to speak for themselves. Focus on your strengths and put them on the table. You will need to escape your comfort zone every once in a while. If you are an accountant and you're also a great graphic designer and you see a problem you know you can solve, raise your hand. You don't need to yell over any C-level executives in a given meeting. Rather, raising your hand can be scheduling a one-on-one -on -one meeting to discuss a topic or sending a thoughtful email containing ideas. Reduce meetings when possible. It's well known that 99% of meetings are a waste of time. Okay, I made that statistic up, but I feel like it really is true. Meetings are a necessary evil at times. A day full of meetings, however, can be a huge time suck for an introvert who is not likely to do her best thinking in a room full of people sharing rapid fire ideas. Introverts typically need time to reflect in order to make important decisions. While meetings are crucial to the health of a business, a day full of meetings translates to two days worth of work the next day. If you are an introvert at work, take a look at your weekly meetings. Are they taking up more than 30% of your work week? If so, think about taking stock of what meetings are actually crucial for you to attend. Taking a look at your calendar is a great way to make sure you're optimizing your time and being as productive as you can. Seek out alternative means of communication. Email is a godsend for the workplace introvert. There are tons of communication tools available in the modern workplace. If you're not at your best in constant face-to-face -face meetings, you have plenty of alternative methods on your side. An introvert can use email, Slack, Google Hangouts, and more to communicate with managers and other team members. Using tools like email to communicate has a multitude of advantages, like allowing an introvert to thoughtfully lay out plans and ideas to other stakeholders. In addition, this sort of communication leaves a paper trail. A huge drawback to decisions made in meetings is the he said, she said conundrum. Communicating via email or messaging is a clear way to keep track of progress, responsibilities, deadlines, and any other information crucial to a certain project or initiative. Remember, we're strong because of our differences, not in spite of them. You, as an introvert, bring unique strengths and qualities to your team, just like your extroverted coworkers do. Be confident in your skills, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone every once in a while. You might just surprise yourself. 